What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can add custom Apple icons just like the ones you see right here. And this is um, different from other methods because other methods actually have you go through the shortcuts app and then it actually takes you to the real app. But here, you see it's seamless and it just feels like it's just a normal app. Um, one thing though you do have to know, Apple system apps like you see I have over here, they either take you to this black page and then go over here. To fix that problem, there is a setting called reduce motion, which makes it look basically seamless. However, some apps like the weather app and the camera app actually take you to a black page, a weather app, and uh, the black page, a shortcuts app, and then it takes you to the real app. Now to fix this problem, you can basically just make it a shortcut that takes you to the page, but that does make you go to the shortcuts app, but at least you're not seeing the black page. Um, now, but for any other third party apps of whatever you want, this works great and I highly recommend it. The first step is to go to this website. It's called um, routinehub.co blah 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 and I'll have the link in the description and basically you can read more about this shortcut right here. But um, basically, we have to scan this using the camera app. So I'm going to switch back to my phone, actually. And here, we want to scan this. And you see it says open in Firefox. And it sometimes takes a while to upload. That's why I have it right here. And it should take you to this page eventually. And here, you want to click Get Shortcut. And it will open in the Shortcuts app. Now, one thing you do have to note is um, you have to have add untrusted shortcuts on and you have to have used the shortcuts app at least once before otherwise you'll not be even able to get the option of adding on short trusted shortcuts but if you have all of that on you need to scroll all the way to the bottom there's a lot a lot of lines of code here and you want to click add untrusted shortcuts and you're just going to click skip setup and i'm just going to keep both because i already have one and if i go to my shortcuts you see i have it here i don't know why i have this i let me just delete this actually uh, it's fine I'll keep it here so now how do you use the shortcut it's actually pretty um, easy to use you want to just click it and the first time you use it it will give you all of this stuff you want to click OK and now you want to so you could add a system app um, which are like the Apple base apps and you have to be uh, careful in those apps because it might like take you to like a black page first um, but uh, if you want to just use a, a other third party app, you're going to click search in App Store. And here, let's just do Brawl Stars because that's a game I play. Oh, I did Brawl Star Stars. Okay, here we go. Spelled it wrong. But um, it says you here, and you want to allow access to iTunes as well. And now for this photos, I'm just going to click choose from photos, and you have to allow access to photos as well. And that's it. this is just for the first time. If any other time, it uh, already has your access. Now you want to click whatever photo you want. One thing to remember while keeping icons is that it has a rounded edge. So if you have any things on like the edges, they're not going to show. So I'm just going to do this. And this is the basically um, the text that shows below your app. Now you could keep it empty, but just to show that it works, I'm just going to type lol buddy. I don't know why. That's just the first thing that came to my mind. And now um, you have your icon created. Now you can create your icon or you can add other icons. I recommend only making one or two because when I tried like three or more, it wasn't able to handle it and didn't create the icons. So I'm just going to continue after one. And now um, in the name of your setup, this is not important. You just click done. And now you want to click install on my device. And now this part takes a while, but basically it takes you to this web page. And you're going to click allow. It's going to say um, open it, profile downloaded. And then you want to click this link right here. And this takes you to the settings app. And you want to here you want to click install. This, however, uh, asks for your password, which you guys are not going to get to see. Unfortunately, I know. Very sad. But after your password has been entered, it takes back you to this page. And you want to click install. And then you click install here. And that's actually all. The app has now been installed, and as you can see, it says LOL Buddy down here. And this is great, amazing. I really love how this works. And if you click, you see Brawl Stars. Well, it's taking a while, but Brawl Stars opens up. And I'm not going to show you too much because um, 
it's kind of uh it's landscape it, brawl stars in landscape and i'm recording in portrait but um i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did please leave a like and um comment down below if you have any problems but subscribe and other than that thanks for watching peace out bye hope you enjoyed